Hi guys, uh, this is Imran and uh, today we're going to talk about uh, building uh, using AJAX to transfer data from one file to another uh, without having to refresh the page. Uh, and AJAX is basically asynchronous JavaScript and XML, uh, which helps you communicate between uh, the server and the uh, server and the user without uh, having to refresh the page and, and that's the best part uh, so for example if you go on Facebook and if you click on like button uh, the request is submitted and you don't really have to refresh the page uh, even when you go to Google and you search something over here so let's say I go to Google and I type this so it automatically starts giving me results uh, and this all happens see you give it's giving me all the results over here which is possible because of ajax you can see the page is not being refreshed and it's already giving me the results here with the best matches so this is happening because of ajax uh, even when you are doing a chatting on uh, facebook uh, and if you submit the comments the page is not refreshed and the comment is submitted so all of this happens because of Ajax. So Ajax is a really really good uh, you know uh, thing that's been available to you. Okay so let's start. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and create a folder a directory into our home directory which is called food store and this is where we're gonna create a project. Okay so let's create a file index.php okay so we'll create some more file as well but let's start with this first okay so in food store you've got index.php <coughs> all right okay so this is our php document and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, create a h3 tag which says food store okay and then we're going to create a user input I'll explain to you what we're doing here in a moment okay so we're going to use input text and we're going to say like enter the food you would like to place the order for okay and let's give it an ID also so that we can use it later okay so we're going to go ahead and uh, give it an ID of user input okay all right and value is nothing so value will be entered by the user all right okay and then there'll be an output div as well where we will store the output which is the result output div okay brilliant so let's see how this looks like um so basically this is what i would be trying to accomplish uh, you know if we enter a food for example tuna it says we have tuna uh, if we enter some other food like let's say uh, fish it says we don't have fish so this is another project that I've made and this is what we're trying to accomplish okay so let's go we're gonna go to our food store project okay so as you can see this is our food store okay and uh, we need to enter the food item we want to check so let's say you know fish so right now nothing is going to happen because we haven't really done anything we all we've done is just created this input field okay all right so this is pretty much what we needed here okay now what we also going to do is uh, we would need to create a PHP file okay so let's create a PHP file bootstore.php okay <coughs> And in this PHP file, what we're going to do is we're going to take a variable called food, okay, and whatever the user enters 
as input uh, in this field over here okay uh, this is what will be stored over here in food okay and we'll create a food array okay and this will contain all the food items that we have in our stores I mean, you can also have entire file which includes the list of the items that you store has but uh, only for explanation purposes and uh, this should be fine okay uh, so let's say we have tuna we have chicken and then we have uh, 